Hi, this video is a quick start guide to Green Shoots mapping. If you've not used it before, then this should be all you need to get going. You need to be a member of BASC to use Green Shoots mapping. It is website based, so you can access it on your smartphone or your desktop, and you log in using the same password you have for the member section of the BASC website. If you've never logged in before, you may need to get a password, and you can set that up by clicking here. Before we start, let's just look at what Green Shoots Mapping is. It is a system to help you organise all sorts of details about your shooting, like where you shoot, what you've shot, and what wildlife you've seen. You could just use it like a shooting diary, record what you shoot, and then generate reports at the end of your season. But the heart of this system is in the title, Mapping. You can define precisely where you shoot by marking areas on a map in the Map It section. You'll be prompted to provide a key list of wildlife for it too. Once a shooting area is mapped, you can access it in the other sections of the website. In custom maps, it will be there waiting for you, so you just need to add labels and marks for whatever purpose you can think of. There's a whole section especially aimed at BASC clubs and syndicates too. A club can define where club land is and keep track of what their members have shot there. Everyone in the club can see their shoot and that makes it easy for them to know where they can shoot and to record their shooting activity. The reporting area makes it really easy to see how the shooting for the club is going. To get your club or syndicate started, get in touch and we'll get you going. Let's do an example. Say I've just come back from shooting and I've bagged a couple of pigeons. I'm going to log it into Bagged It and then select Visit. From here I can see all the shoots I have mapped previously. This is the shoot I'm interested in. I've made four visits, give it a click and I can see the details of those visits. I need to add my visit. Fill in the form. Fired four shots. I was really pleased with my dog. I managed to get two wood pigeons, which is pretty good for four shots. And yep, that's it. I just need to save my entry. I could go back to the My Visits page from here, but I'm actually going to log some of the wildlife I saw, because I saw something really interesting. Now I've been taken to the Scene It section. I was actually really pleased to see a pair of nesting gadwell because we don't see them regularly on our shoot at all. Which is a fantastic thing to record. I'll add the date. Saw two of them. Add a dot on the map, show the location. Save and close. And that's it. Now there was a reporting option at the start of Bagged It. Here I can choose which shoot I want to look at. Choose which quarry I want. I can click them individually or as a whole group. I can choose a date range. And bingo. I can see a summary of my bag for this year. Seems wood pigeons are at the top of my list. I can also see a report for the shoot visits. There are my visits, including the one we have just made. And note too, we can export them to Excel if you're pretty good with your charts and that sort of thing. So hopefully you can see how the shoots you map here show up in Bagged It so you can log your shooting visits. They show up in Seen It so you can log your wildlife sightings and they show up in custom maps so you can mark up and make those special maps. It's really simple once you get used to what you're doing. Green Shoots Mapping has another benefit. All the information that goes into Green Shoots Mapping provides a unique insight into the state of the UK countryside and this is really useful for research and conservation planning.
Having real data and facts helps us argue the case for shooting and conservation, and the more we know, the better we can do this for you. And rest assured the system is private and safe to use. If you allow us to share your wildlife records to improve conservation knowledge, you do so anonymously.